Hi guys and welcome back and welcome to another video where today I am heading on a road trip which is going to be seriously exciting. I am taking the Audi RS4 and let me tell you exactly where I'm heading. I'm heading to Wales. Yep, you heard it correctly. I am heading there with a lot of other cars and we are going on some of the best driving roads in Wales. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Today I thought this could be a really good opportunity to do that and share obviously the content with you all because you would have seen recently on my channel I've done quite a bit of track stuff and I've also introduced my new racing go-kart. There's no better car to do this road trip on than the RS4 which I have as my long term loan car. I haven't bought the Lamborghini on this because I'm doing sort of probably 7-8 hours driving today. Earlier today I packed my bags and put it all in the back of the RS4. I've actually also cleaned it. As you can probably see, it's looking seriously clean. And I just think that this really is the perfect car for today. Like I mentioned, I'm doing sort of three to four hours driving each way plus the driving road. Obviously this car is absolutely perfect for motorway miles etc and getting your foot down and they've got a lot of speed but we want to see handling wise don't we and see how this really handles. I've just arrived where all of the cars are. My RS4, well it's not mine it's a loan car, is parked up alongside this RS6 in this absolutely wicked colour. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little bit of a head-to-head -head comparison. We're going to get the RS3 involved as well. I'm going to be driving the RS4 and after that I'm going to be jumping in the RS6 and doing a total back-to-back. -back. In terms of price-wise they obviously are a little bit different. To buy a new RS6 is probably like 110 grand and RS4 is like 80. They do look mega together don't they? Let's be honest. And I cannot wait to drive this RS6. Drive it in anger as well is going to be seriously, seriously cool. It is time to drive a proper driving road. Oh, this is called Arch Hamilton Racing. For a reason, let's go! Woohoo! Oh, this is so cool up here. But yeah, I'm intrigued to get a proper feel for this car. But look at the roads, they're incredible. But the scenery as well is unreal. And this car just seems like it can handle seriously, seriously well. But it's so much fun. Down a gear, I'm turning in, I'm carrying the speed, and the car just takes it. But look at this where we are, wow. Down a gear, oh, we're turning in. The car just takes it. Because you never know with these cars, you drive one and you're like, should they really handle well? But here, boom, in. Oh, and it does. And then it's got all the steam. This is what I'm intrigued about with the RS6 and the RS3. Can it be as good? Can it be as good? Because this has roughly 400 brake, the RS6 has 500, but it's value for money, isn't it? <laughs> and in, and we're off, up a gear. Oh, wow. Tight and twisty road. The car going up the gears nicely. We're going over bumps. Whoa, sick. Turning in, down a gear. The car is not rolling that much. Up a gear, up to fifth gear, down to fourth gear. Going around the left. Going into the right. Being smooth with it, braking down to third gear, just waiting, turning in, and then you're back out. Just pulled over, and we just thought we'd get all the cars together. But what I want to take in is just how good this scenery is and where we are. It's so cool to explore these different driving roads. Both Nardo Grey, are we witnessing what's going on here? You love this, don't you? I do. Yeah. What? Well, take it this way this man owns a Ferrari other cars and you yeah. just love driving that. Yeah, it's good for these roads. And then we also have Aaron in it. Oh, why Aaron? And then I'm jumping in this as well. We've got to remember that. The RS6. Ben's brought down his FF. But I want to also show you is this. Civic Type R. I think they look good. Look out, look at this. Look at all this, what's going on. And then we have all the diffuser as well. Right, we've just turned up in the petrol station. Thanks Archie. Eight miles turn into 18 miles. No, but... There's no places to fuel. We've got to fuel now and we are screwed. Oh, yep, right, yep, yep, yep. And Joseph, how close is that? Yeah, nothing. Nothing left. Really? 
That was my one petrol station in Google Maps. Did you literally have nothing on the... I think you do have like 10 miles left at that point. Yeah, it's down to zero, that's it. <laughs> you were panicking. I'm gonna brim this. Have you got fuel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, but brim it. There's no petrol stations around here. I'm about to hoon it, so you might want to fill it. <laughs> you now join me in the RS6. And this is the first time I've driven one of these. And they're quick. <laughs> Oh my god, they're quick. But the first thing I noticed straight away when I jumped in here was just how much more heavier it kind of feels. It just feels so much bigger. Obviously it is bigger, it's an RS6, it's not an RS4. It seems to handle well, just it doesn't feel as good as the RS4. It, I don't know what to think of it. Like, I think if I was in the RS4, I'd have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're now in the rain, but braking. Braking's fairly similar. And this is just, this is power. It's the power which gets you because it just takes off. The gearbox is good. It really is good. But it's, I think, I think handling on the RS4 is better because now, there's a bit of understeer coming, it's a little bit lazier, but then when you get to a straight line, there's no comparison. Oh, Whoa, it's mind blowing. It's absolutely mind blowingly fast. But just the handling, it's not as good. It's not as good as the RS4. We are in the damp, we have to remember that. But there's not even anything out there in terms of the amount of space we got in here and you know it's very similar in terms of interior with the sunroof etc there's not much out there that is a better daily than both of the cars that was epic to go in the rs6 and basically just do a head-to-head -head comparison the rs4 and the rs6 two very different cars don't get me wrong uh, we have to remember the rs6 is a little bit older and there is a new one on the way shortly but <laughs> If I'm going to compare it straight away, it's just, it's amazing how refined this RS4 is. I think it's just another level. What I'm going to go in now is I'm going to jump in at the RS3 for this little section of the Evo Triangle. And I think this will be the best car for today's conditions when it's like a little bit damp and the rain is sort of in the air. They're just wicked little things. Whenever we've taken one of these to the airfield, they've just been so good. This has been tuned as well to what I think is 450 brake horsepower. He also has an aftermarket exhaust on here as well. That's ridiculous. I love RS3s. Just remember just how fun this car really is. Whoa, it's good. It's so nimble. It's so nimble. Like the steering, right? When I'm braking now, the first thing I've noticed is that, listen, listen to that straight up. First of all, I'm turning in the tiniest of margins and it just turns in straight away. Listen to that noise, that aftermarket exhaust. I tell you what, it's so direct. Listen to it. I tell you exactly what this feels like. It feels like a little racing car. It feels like a little racing car on rails. Obviously you've got all the noise coming from his aftermarket exhaust. But then <laughs> you have, I can't get over the handling. Braking is very, wow, well, braking is actually not similar at all. It's instant. Like I'm trying to just turn it in and it's just bang, bang, everywhere, straight away. We're in the dam. It's probably the best car for the dam. This is the total opposite to the RS6. It really is. It's like, it's the little baby, but it's just so nimble. So, so nimble, but so impressive. Oh, it's the noise, isn't it? I think it's the experience when you drive one of these. It's so much experience that comes with driving an RS3. And I think that was the perfect back-to-back -back. RS6, RS4, RS6, RS3. 
I'm gonna tell you which one I'd rather have. This has been an amazing comparison to go back to back of all of them. So for me, it is time now to head on my way back to London. What a day it has been in Wales. Oh my good God, it's been so cool to be up here and to put all these cars kind of like head to head. You're probably wondering, what car would I go home with? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what car, the one I'm going home with. <laughs> <laughs> because I just think it ticks all the boxes it really does I mean the gearbox the speed the handling I mean this is what this what I kind of wanted to do driving roads for here was to really just to test the handling and just to see obviously I'm well aware this is newer than both of those cars but it's just amazing to see the difference and how far they have come along I'm going home with the car which I think is the best uh, obviously the new RS6 is going to be incredible isn't it that's going to be a mental the support you guys have given me the last few weeks has been amazing and i'm so pleased the last few videos you like them with me driving on the track the launch of my new racing go-kart and to be back on a driving road again things are changing and i feel this channel is going to take a massive step up from here on in and i'm buzzing and if you're wondering the color of my hair yeah it's got a little bit of a funny color um and i don't really know What's happened? I've put some weird stuff in it and it's not really gone to plan. I'm going to leave this video there, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you all very soon.